And welcome to this edition of Robert's for Us Old Talk. This is your host, Robert Red. And this week I'm going to be joined by my guest, Mr. Cornbread Chris Heineken. How you doing, Mr. Cornbread? Pretty good. Thank you. Excuse me. How are you? I'm doing good. Well, we're going to kick off this first segment of Robert's Wrestling Talk talking about Goldberg. Goldberg. Very interesting, right? To start off here. Congratulations. Well, we're going to start with Goldberg because uh, WWE this past weekend teased on their social media about this hatch and kind of what's in this hatch. And it was revealed on Monday night on Memorial Day that it was the 2K17 video game that uh, comes up every year in October. And they revealed something very interesting. If you pre-order the game, Goldberg is going to be a uh, downloadable character if you pre-order the game. So, my question to you to start off the segment is, with Goldberg being a downloadable character in the game, do you think that is a signal for him to come back to the WWE as maybe as an in-ring competitor? No. And, you know, the reason being, you know, unless Goldberg has really, really been in the athletic portion of his life, I honestly... I mean, because everybody thinks, you know, just because you see a game tease here or a game tease there, you know, it's, it has significant meaning. Not necessarily. Goldberg's been out of the picture since, what, 2004? 2004, he had his last match for WrestleMania 20, you are correct. And look how long, from 2004 up until now, look how long of a delay that is since he's been hosting his own show. He's into race cars now. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not ruling it out by any means, but I'm saying I don't. To me, I don't think there's a possibility. Well, I'm going to go the opposite direction on this one, just for the simple fact of if you look at the past several years, what has kind of happened. You had like the Ultimate Warrior. He kind of came back to WWE after but several years. But he did come back as an in-ring competitor. Under, but you had Sting. And, and like a lot of the video game has almost been a platform here the last several years for guys to return to the company. So I'm saying it's not necessarily out of the realm of possibility of Goldberg coming back, just from the simple fact of what's happened. Now, granted, you have mentioned it has been almost it's been like 12 years plus since Goldberg has yeah. been in the WWE. But I mean, just from what has happened the past several years, I think this could signal it's, a return to the ring, just for the simple but, fact of that. <coughs> but with that uh, being said, is Goldberg does return to the ring, who do you think his opponent would be? His very first opponent would be, or maybe where do you think he's going to return at? So what, what's your thoughts on that? This is too tough to call. If he were to come back in the ring and come back wrestling, you have no members of Evolution. You already ruled that out. Okay. For value purposes, I, I I would love to say Brock Lesnar, but Lesnar Lesnar's been on a full time competing basis, and Goldberg has not, so that will kind of rule out that possibility. It's about fifteen percent. If he has to come back, probably a Brock Lesnar deal probably will work, but. I mean, all due respect, I mean, all due respect, I mean, as great as Goldberg is and as legendary as Goldberg has become over the years, I really don't see a whole lot of value in bringing him back. Yeah, you can have him watching classics or whatever, or perhaps having him in the Hall of Fame, but as an in-ring competitor, unless he, if he really, really trains rigorous, rigorously, if he trains right, I could see him a possibility with Brock Lesnar. Possible. Yeah, I don't see him as being a full-time uh, competitor, and that's kind of really where I agree with you. I don't think he's going to be a full-time competitor. He would be like a part-time guy, and the guy I think he would face is Brock Lesnar. Now, a lot of people I know have soured on that match just from what happened at WrestleMania 20, but you got to realize the circumstances that surrounded that match were both the guys were leaving the company so they weren't invested in the match they were like we're just going to get through this and do whatever and the fans knew that they were leaving so they kind of crapped on the match well it's been 12 well, they years they crapped on the match from the beginning well it's been, it's been 12 years later Brock Lesnar's mistake our hype is tenfold probably what it was in 20, uh, 2004 or and Goldberg has been away since then and not really done anything we've seen Lesnar return back so 
just the simple fact of you're saying Goldberg and it was kind of hinted it might have been Brock Lesnar because of the Suplex City reflection that was in the window at the end of the video game commercial. So I'm thinking those two now would really draw money because as long as they're both invested in competing against one another, I think you could have a money match at WrestleMania 33 coming up in but to me, Orlando. But but to me, I say, it, what price tag would you put on Goldberg just to have Goldberg in the ring? Well, I mean, because you know, if Goldberg competes, <laughs> you know there's going to be a whole lot of people that's going to have to be left off. Well, I mean, Period. I mean, not necessarily if it's a WrestleMania with them having five hours. I mean, you could have but, people do that, and if he's not a competitor all the time, you could have. Well, what if guys on. But what if it wasn't a WrestleMania? What if it was one of the other big three as part of the big four? What if it was SummerSlam, or what if it was Royal Rumble? Well, I mean, you have SummerSlam is four hours, so you still have uh, enough time to get guys on there that rumor could be on there. The rumor right around concerning the Royal Rumble as well. I mean, the Rumble, he could be one of the uh, many guys. But I think uh, Goldberg uh, coming back, it has to be with Lesnar and has to be at WrestleMania. I don't, I don't, SummerSlam could work, but it would be a little too early to do that for right. Goldberg because the game comes out in the fall, so I think SummerSlam would be too early. If you brought him back, it would just have to be as a guest spot to promote the game, and I don't know why you would do that. To me, Goldberg's value would be to have one more match, uh, or but, at least a match with Lesnar. But do you see any value, any big-time value, in bringing Goldberg back? If put with the right person. Yeah, there is value in Goldberg because it's that look at what happened with Lesnar. People were ecstatic to see him come back after but, so many years. I think there's still value. People WWE doesn't have a lot of guys that they can bring back now that will get a lot of hype and a lot of buzz. Shane McMahon was like the last guy just because of his departure and what surrounded his departure. Goldberg, I think, has that same mistake. So I but, think there is value with Goldberg. But here's the one big difference, though, with the goldberg Lesnar comparison. Goldberg has been quiet since 2004. Brock Lesnar has not <laughs> been quiet. Brock Lesnar, as we all know, has been accomplished and has been winning championships since then. That's true. He's been winning championships since 2004. He's still in the media today. Still there. He's literally turned down multiple offers from Dana White. Even this year, he turned down another contract offer to go back. Just to stay with WWE. Yeah. Well, that's some good thoughts. Uh, there's going to be more Roberts Wrestling Talk right after this. Uh, don't you guys go anywhere. We got more next.